A primary school in London has taken it upon themselves to change the name of their school, which was the Francis Drake Primary School, to Twin Oaks Primary School instead. Now, it seems the reason they have done this is because of Francis Drake's links to slavery back in the 1500s. However, if those who had endorsed and encouraged this particular name change knew about Francis Drake and knew about the history of this country, they would know that Francis Drake actually did a lot of good for slavery, against slavery in the 1500s. He freed a lot of black slaves from the Spanish Empire. He spent a good chunk of his life freeing slaves, as a matter of fact. He showed incredible kindness to slaves. And there are multiple accounts of this. This isn't something I'm just pulling out of thin air. There are multiple historical accounts which clearly show that Francis Drake was actually quite unique for the time, unique for his position, because he used his position in order to make the lives of these slaves better, free them, and he became known as a friend and an ally of the black slaves. Now, the attempts to trash our history, to trash British history, are ongoing. It's been going on now for the past couple of years. And everybody is entitled to their own opinion about the history of this country, as they are about everything, or they should be. But when you start changing school names, when you start tearing down statues, when you start changing street names, we have a problem, particularly when the movement that is pushing for it is very divisive, and is manipulating the history of this country with manipulations, lies and half-truths in order to get what they want. They say about Francis Drake that he looted gold from the Spanish. Now that is true. He did loot gold from the Spanish. What they don't tell you is that the Spanish had already looted it from the South Americans, from the Aztecs and the Incas. They had already taken that gold and slaughtered all the tribes. Francis Drake took the gold from the Spanish, and by doing so, he actually managed to halt the Spanish Armada, which was the intended invasion of England, by about a year. That is what they estimate. That was Francis Drake protecting his country. It was Francis Drake weakening the Spanish Empire, and if we want to talk about empires, the Spanish Empire was one of the cruelest empires that existed. On the subject of empires, we are talking about an age when empires were normal. And yet, for some strange reason, it's the British Empire that tends to get all the attacks from modern society. And it astonishes me because the British Empire, in terms of empires, was the most benevolent. There can be no question about it. It was the British Empire that used its wealth, time, resources and lost roughly 15,000 lives in the Royal Navy in order to end the transatlantic slave trade. It was the British Empire that fought to end slavery. No other empire wanted to end it. The British Empire was the only one that took the steps and had the power and had the means to end the transatlantic slave trade. And yet, all we hear about in today's society is how bad the British Empire was and how awful British history is. So what we have to do, I feel very strongly, is that we've absolutely got to protect the history of this country. We have to make it clear that the movement trying to destroy our history, to dis try and destroy great English heroes like Francis Drake, cannot be tolerated by us, not by today's modern society. It is so essential that we protect our history. We can't just let rampant movements who don't know anything about our history or have their own agenda tear down our statues, change names of this and that when they don't even know what they are anything about our history, which they have proven because they obviously didn't know anything about Francis Drake and the amount of good he did for these slaves. Francis Drake was a hero. He was a hero of England. He was a hero to so many slaves in this world back in the 1500s. And he used his platform and his capacity. In his capacity, he fought and did what he could to protect England and to free these slaves. And yet he has been trashed like this by today's society. It's not on, it is wrong. And it's very important that all of us speak out about it and we defend the great heroes of this country.